Hello, Wagdi folks. I am Ritama, your host and your dose for today. So today we have a special guest for all of you listeners out there. We have Bhuvana Chitturi, a Wagdi expert with four plus experience in marketing and HR and making it easy. She's got masters in MIS and making her life as a tech pro. And currently she's in cool things as MS Cloud Solution, creating 300 reports using Workday and AI Magic. With a bachelor's degree in engineering and certification in SIP and AI, Bhuvana isn't afraid of challenges. Besides tech, she's into creative stuff like digital transformation, chat GPT and photography. So a lot more. For a big global projects like Aradhya Cloud Solutions, Tech Mahindra, Bhuvna is the hero of HR. She solves issues, trains people like a pro and makes work smoother. Passionate about solving problems, making things easy, and Bhuvna's career is a mix of tech smart and creative works. So let's not waste any time and let's meet our special guest, Bhuvna Chitturi. Hi, Bhuvna. Hi, Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Um, I'm I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How are you feeling? Like this is your first oh, podcast. Yeah. Today. First of all, I'm really excited uh, to share my experience and the whole journey with you. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I'm really sure that uh, people can relate my journey and uh, they'll make decisions and, uh, you know, they can relate my experience. They can start something <laughs> just like oh. me. So Absolutely. I'm really glad to be part of the podcast and uh, I'm, I'm really happy to share the complete HR experiences with the Workday. Yeah, you're going to be a star uh, like, like sure. after you do it and share it with your family and friends. And you're going sure, to be sure, yeah. <laughs> so before we dive into the plethora of questions, what I want to ask you about the Workday uh, yeah. HR, I am also learning in the process of interviewing and that's nice. What's like you. So my first question goes like, can you tell me your journey of Workday uh, HR and how did it start? Is it right after college or school or you wanted to work? Like, how would it start? Like, tell, tell the users in a way layman term. Okay, sure. Uh, so it's quite surprising because I did my uh, bachelor's in civil engineering. So okay. I never know that I'll be jumping into HR uh, technology side. But right after my education, I started with Tech Mahindra. That is my first job. Uh, so it is just basic HR. So I've learned a lot of terminology over there. So that's the beginning of my journey. So that's I've learned uh, terminology like uh, I started to understand uh, the employees and uh, the company organizations and the, all the things that revolves around them. It's not the the work that we do in any any company. Like it's not only the uh, it can take any industry. Uh, then after working there for seven months, I've learned uh, you know customer communication. I've learned so many things. Then uh, I've gone through this uh, new technology workday. So at first, I don't know anything about this because uh, I've never ex experienced any ERP technologies before. Like, yeah, we do have uh, so many uh, uh, ERP uh, technologies in market. But I started with Workday. I started uh, learning this. I took a training. I was like, yeah, it's, uh, you know, a uh, first thing I can say, it's more like a social media platform that is that much user friendly. You don't believe. Yeah. So as I already know the terminology within HR, Mm -hmm. it's just you know play with the system i oh. started using it so i uh i started uh, relating those things within my workday application so then i shifted to the aradhya cloud solution that was my first project with workday so after taking a workday a techno functional training i mm -hmm. jumped into the first project mm -hmm. and there it's all making sense like okay. it's not one particular application but yeah there there are like so many things to learn so i feel like it's more like a c you can you can dig deep into it you still i'm learning still i'm learning new things in workday so even after uh, i believe even after having 10 years of experience or 15 years of experience people can learn a new things here absolutely absolutely You're just yeah. yeah yeah uh, so yeah. i started my first uh my workday journey with aradhya I've worked there for almost two years. 
then i came to us for uh, do my masters program so i did my masters in management information systems from northern illinois university i recently okay. graduated then i started working with ms cloud solutions as a workday hras analyst also workday try now wow wow yeah. that that's super impressive you know yeah. girls like you being so empowered and they're so hungry for knowledge basically yeah. it proves that you are constantly hungry for knowledge and you want to explore more diverse way on on a particular so uh, usually people think that okay there is only one thing about hr but when you delve into this entire yes, zone sure. of hr and when you see work day and then other new technologies other new system would come up and you would learn more so one needs to be very hungry for knowledge so users out yes. there i would request us listen to her and they don't stuck yeah. in one place you have a lot to learn lot to explore yeah sure so, coming up with the next question and my next curiosity is can you just tell me that what are the current trends you are implementing in work day hr and how are organization adapting to them okay so uh, coming to the uh, workday hr so i would like to explain in a few terms like you know it's more like a hidden treasure okay which will go in a smooth and efficient way so you know uh, just imagine uh, you are in a, a enchanted forest and work uh, with hr technology and okay. workday is like a co- compass like uh, you can find a ways with di- various modules All okay right. and uh, yeah uh, coming to the current trends and technologies like uh, workday is providing so many uh, features right so uh, for example if anyone is thinking uh, you know uh, to shift their career to workday or uh, to to take the training or if they really wants to learn uh, the first thing uh, i got so many questions because i'm also a trainer so i I've, you know users like they asked me uh, so many questions which i can relate do we right. need experience before or do we need uh, like they usually ask me like i don't know coding i don't know any programming or uh, can i able to do this i don't know any erp uh, experience before can i uh, can can i uh, able to work on this so mm-hmm. my first answer uh, my first answer you can relate with me i'm from civil background I have no idea about any programming or no but i started my journey with workday oh, uh, so here uh, the you know uh, the main trends with workday the first and foremost thing is it's user friendly even if i if i give you the system you can able to do it without any training you'll understand <laughs> <laughs> so i'll give you one example here so workday is more like a mobile phone just you, if you can relate it's more like a mobile phone just imagine you don't know how to use it so i just okay. g- gave you one a mobile phone and uh, i'll teach you how to install the apps i'll teach you how to off some of the notifications through some the, some of the settings so i i said uh, hey uh, can you please uh, i'll show you how to download the gmail i'll show you how to download the facebook linkedin after that if i say can you please download this app you know because you know the navigation part so right. it's all about the terminology and the navigation practice right. so we That's- have to practice thoroughly to understand the application and mm-hmm. to understand the features this is the main trend with workday's updates so right. every year we have two updates with workday okay one is on march and other one is on september so just like uh, we are getting mobile phone updates right mm-hmm. so uh, it won't change the complete system uh, application but it mm-hmm. will give you some more features additional features so that's how we do the test cases and you'll see the new updates every year it's it's very exciting to learn new things absolutely absolutely like like i am feeling like learning more understanding more on work day uh, sorry i'm not leaving zarandek or i'm not doing any other job but yes i'm curious to know more about work day now yeah so can you highlight a few features of work day core hr that organization finds most beneficial like how this features contribute to the streamlight of uh, hr processes can you just tell me a few uh, yeah uh, so as i said it's the first thing is it's very easy to use mm-hmm. and uh, the second thing is it's employer service we do have employer service manager as self service so in general uh, suppose if i wants to apply for leave no need to go to the manager every time 
or if i wants to update my information personal information no need to bug your hr like can you please do this can you please do that no we can able to do it from our side with the help of work the employee self service uh you can apply leaves uh, you can uh, you can add your personal data if you want to add your dependent data we can all able to do it from our side right. then uh, automatically by the automatically after you entered your information it will go to your manager for the approval so no need to bug them like uh, no need to uh, run behind them because just imagine there is a organization with thousands of employees and uh, you know so many things are going to happen at a time like maybe the hiring part or uh, uh, the time offs there are like a leaves and everything and uh, the other one is you'll see it workday is a all in one platform right. so see uh, people are talking hr hr is it's not only the hiring part but also yeah. hr is going to handle every module okay so uh, what are the modules like that can you please elaborate on that that hr does not sure, sure. yeah so people think like uh, uh, if someone is saying hr oh is it hiring is it recruiter stuff it's not only the recruit recruiter stuff yeah if i say hr even i used to think uh, when i'm studying in my bachelor's right i thought like hr is more like a recruiter job they'll hire people they terminate people that's it no that's not only the hr technology but uh, here we have so many modules i really surprised after stepping into my first project here uh, like uh, in usually like uh, people asks me this like do we have to learn every module to be a part of workday projects so uh, it's not necessary to you know read everything at once but right. once you have a knowledge with core hr right. so within core hr you learn all the navigations all the basics how the system works once you step into your project you'll start learning even i'm still learning some of the modules right. i'm still in, i'm still learning uh, a different modules that is related to the hr so if i can elaborate this one particular core hr and the other various modules so see uh, just imagine you are working in one organization it's not only the work right but there are like so many things that runs revolve around that employee and the organization for example yeah. he is working the uh, the company has to pay compensation the payroll and benefits like life insurance and benefits for their uh, their dependents and there is a performance so after checking their performance they'll get some bonus merit bonus and everything so there is a onboarding the main part like what people are thinking about the hr so the yes we do have that recruitment stuff recruiting from the posting job till the terminations or promotions or change locations change manager so there are like so many things that that is running in work day you'll get everything in one platform so right. no need to uh, deal with different applications here but you'll get every detail within one system okay. and the most important thing is you can get this information anywhere across the world no need to restrict to your organizations or to your system wow it's the on demand yeah wow that's like like so many so many things like i i had only so for me hr is someone um who send who gives you warnings right who, right who, who terminates you who yes. gives you like, for this month work hard go away so yeah. hr that's so yeah but having an automated system as work day it's yeah. simplify so many organizations work in a go like it's It's super super nice. So mm-hmm. I'll go a lot a lot uh, talk much. I'll sure. ask you because I want to know more. So, sure. When, uh, so tell me about it. How does implementation of Workday HR impact employee self service capabilities, and what are the benefits does it both for employee and the HR team? So here, uh, as I uh, previously mentioned, the employee self service make our work much easier. and it is time savings so not only the hr can do the things but also we can able to create a reports you can see the instant notifications and uh, you can able to uh, you know see your pay slips 
no need to ask your manager like can you please provide yeah uh, previously like a uh, few years back if you want to apply for a leave you have to ask your manager or you have to talk with the hr so yeah. even it's not only the leave but uh, there are like so many things that we have that 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 is uh, presented with uh, with us if you are working in any company any any industry it doesn't matter if you are in software side or if you are in banking side or aid ways any anything so these are the these are the mandatory things that are revolving in our, in our so there are like so many challenges and hub worked is very helpful by providing the self service and manager as a service so whenever uh, whenever if you want to uh, change anything or uh, uh, you want to see your your data or your security access we have a lot of features in workday okay. yes so coming to the next question here um, can you share an effective strategy for ensuring high user adoption rates that during the implementation and ongoing stage of workday what happens uh so regarding this uh, regarding this the implementation the high rates right so we have to focus on the budgeting part so first and fo foremost like uh, business requirements is really important okay okay so uh, yeah working on the system is pretty easy once you know the navigation and everything but how we are going to handle your client right so because they are adopting workday they don't know anything about it they wants to use it for their uh, for their transactions for their data so before directly implementing the system to them we have to provide the knowledge right so here documentation the training is really important mm -hmm. so we have to uh, provide the clear uh, configurations to them so we have to we have to train the end user right. so that they'll understand what is the purpose that they are adapt adapting workday it's not only like yeah you can create you can add your employee data but no there should be some usage and they should know why they are why they need workday implementation in their company so here business requirements is really important so that is one of the challenge and uh, the training and documentation also in budget and resources so we should provide the support so after after everything we uh, see that's what the uh, workday consultants workday analyst we provide the support if they are facing any configuration issues and everything mm -hmm. yeah oh that's that's quite quite uh, lovely that what you said and uh, so tell me something about uh, how are the latest uh, trends on uh, mobile accessibility It, like increasing demand for mobile accessibility in hr processes and what advantages does this offer to the organization like okay yeah the core work day hr so uh, for this i'll give you uh, a small example so just think you don't have your access system access but you have to check some report it's really urgent so just imagine uh, open your mobile and see the report and submit it's very easy uh, to you know uh, see the details it's like you have the cash in your pocket we so have the me, mm -hmm. so tell me something i have this question uh, like so if a person um, if a organization is using workday and uh, and there are not much employees like the, there are em employees as in for hr department there are not much employees so is workday reducing the employee uh, rates in hr department or it is actually increasing their employee rates in hr department what do you think uh so in this case so see uh it's not it it actually based on the different type of clients so in okay. one of in see uh, if you take one organization they'll be using a different resources or they'll be having the employees in so and so department mm -hmm. and as i said you'll you'll have everyone in one single plat platform so it's yeah. not uh, based on the count but it is based on the how the organization is working right so um can you give me a real time scenario of your 
uh, using work day a day a day of a work day professional just give me that okay sure I, i yeah sure i i can give i can explain you the some of the scenarios that i'm work currently working so at least uh, people i think they are very curious about uh, you know what we are going to work in real time and uh, uh yeah this is what uh, generally people think after taking the training like is this what we are going to do in real time or uh, do we get a different uh, situations yes of course you will get a different situations so see even uh, today today if, if you are hiring a person in uh, new york you'll you'll deal with the different documentation different onboarding steps and tomorrow you'll be uh, hiring a person from india is it the same process no right it's going to change so right. we should understand the terminology so once you understand the terminology and uh, it's really important why we are doing and what we are doing right so in real time um, like again it depends on your uh, clients so mm -hmm. in one of the client they'll be handling the performance they need support in the performance management side or they need a uh, support in the recruitment side or the complete hris so if i if i can talk about on the basis of hris so you'll see everything here with with the hris uh, analyst analyst positions so in my day to day activities uh, uh, i usually see the the bulk date details the data mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. just imagine uh, my client is asking to create 200 positions today is okay. it possible like manually just imagine creating 200 or 500 positions manually we wow. can create but it's going to take so much of time yeah but absolutely. in work day with the help of integrations you can <clears throat> able to do it in few minutes or few hours so here you can able to load all the data with the help of reports yes so i forgot to mention that we do have a analytical reporting which is like a the awesome tool awesome okay. tool in work day so okay. no need to depend on any other third party you can create a report within minutes okay yeah so you'll uh, in date about analytical tools give me more features about it if you want okay so it, uh, as i said work day is analytical reporting right so if your manager is asking i need a report of uh, so and so location or uh, we need this employees or they'll give you some date ranges or uh, they need some payroll data you can able to create by adding all the fields we're not going to dip, or we are not going to ask the other uh, teams or nothing if you, if you have the access right you can add all the fields you can simply run the report you'll get all the details but here is the most important thing uh, i used to think uh, before joining the project like if it is all in one platform mm -hmm. we, everyone can able to see the data right right i can able to see your details you can able to see my details or uh, my manager compensation because people are very much curious about see the salary details of other persons or maybe the dependent data so mm -hmm. in this case is it possible it's not possible so workday security is highly data encrypted you can't okay. even get into any task without having access right. so that's how we are handled the even uh, every uh, organization is handling so based on my roles and responsibilities or uh, their users roles and responsibilities they are giving the access mm -hmm. based on like uh, whatever the tasks they have to do so it's data encryption it's mm -hmm. it's uh, and even in the reports also you you won't be able to see all the values at a time if you have access then yes you can able to see the values it's, it's all depends on the security my god yeah That's, i'm like i'm trust trust me like after this uh, podcast you should <laughs> slowly quickly work it with that <laughs> i'll do that so my next question comes like can you please share about the complete implementation process starting from the customer sure so yeah. if i explain you the complete situation yeah it's going to take a uh, in hearts but no. i'll give you the uh, some uh, the uh, basic example like how actually it works uh, because see even uh, pe uh, people might have this question like uh, if they are interviewing somewhere uh, generally like uh, the the last few like have you completed the implementation or are you supporting the project so i was like i used to think 
okay what is the support what is the difference between the implementations or what is the support i only know the work day i don't know anything about, but it's really important to know the beginning part how Sorry. people are how people are ad adapting this one how they are working and who is uh, who is supporting this is work the supporting or do we have any other vendors yeah i'll i'll give you one basic example here uh, let's take uh, yeah let's take you are the customer okay and i am the uh, vendor like uh, who can provide the services and there okay. is the work day also so we are okay. like three people and okay. for your organization for your requirements you wants to implement the work day okay so it's it's a very big decision so you can't okay. simply go and buy but okay. you need to understand what is a purpose is it is this what i really want mm -hmm. so you are going to contact direct work day or you can contact some of the vendors like uh, who, who can whoever can provide the service mm -hmm. so as a as a implementation provider i am going to show you the i'll give you the demo how the work day works with right. sample of sample data so i'll create mm -hmm. all the configurations i'll do the testing i'll give some test cases then i'll show you this is how the uh, your uh, data is going to be stored or the all the transactions will be happen so after that work is going to involve so after everything because they have to make sure if i'm doing the correct job because i can't uh, you know load everything in a wrong way so yeah. work day they'll uh, work the people will enter in this situation they'll run some of the reports okay. if everything is fine if everything is positive they'll give you the uh, you know the positive positive mm -hmm. and uh, we can actually go to the production the, we can take the the complete uh, main details we can go to the production and will support i'll support you i'll support the customer what if i failed what if i got the wrong uh, you know details or the the complete uh, negative result in this case customer uh, work day is going to directly deal with the customer right so because here customer is really important so we should mm -hmm. provide the correct configurations correct application based on the requirements so that's how the actually the implementation works so the support once you implemented everything right so here you'll see so many tenants uh, so many processes test cases and everything so once the uh, once the implementation is completed then mm -hmm. we'll go to the production yeah. post production so there finally the customer and their employees can able to view the details mm -hmm. so they'll know okay they, uh, they'll see all the transactions the recruiters can able to uh, you know hire the people and uh, the absence management people can do their work so then we can as a as a work day consultant or as a work day analyst i can support the people right. for their configurations yeah so it's really important uh, to know the complete process absolutely absolutely but it is yeah. so so freaking interesting like right? yes. you know like uh, but that's what shocking it's shocking me and it's amusing me that so little generally people yeah. have an understanding on, on hr on work day lots of people doesn't even know about what work no. day is. no uh, that is what one of the in my family there are people who are in, interested in uh, studying yeah. uh, management this yes. is doing mba but there's so many so ways many of, see i'm still learning it's not like if you don't have any experience it's okay once right. you step into the uh, the real time right you learn a lot of things where you can uh, you know where you can relate in your real life right right absolutely absolutely so uh, bhuvana can you tell me one thing that what is the latest trends in work day nowadays okay Maybe so for latest trends or anything okay so here uh, the latest trends like every year we'll get the updates like you'll see some and other updates with work day on march and september but uh, as we are expecting the future things so may uh, we might get like a, they may bring more smart ai technology right yes and uh, so much of improved analytics yeah we okay. we have a great reporting or uh, analytics also we do have a 
work day uh, you know implemented so many different project uh, products like uh, peacon and uh, you know prism prism analytics for the reporting adaptive planning so yeah we are expecting uh, many features from the work day in a in the future with the smart improved ai mm -hmm. and also with the new integrations and uh, with the new technologies as well more user friendly that's that's really like now ai has taken yeah. over on everything yes yes so yeah. they are just adding the these things to the work day as well so as, as an employee or uh, as a customer or client we should be flexible enough to adapt those changes we should welcome those changes right absolutely yeah. ai is acting like as a personal assistant every yeah. time we are doing like it's just so so nice i think i think ai should be uh, spreading <laughs> everywhere and, and it it should be be in every place yes so, govna this was my last question with you sure. so i i was i was like uh, really hoping that um, you know um, that keep you will you will uh, we will have more time of of the yes. podcast we have more much more to discuss but yeah i'd episode, love to <laughs> to do the episodes end here but uh, tell me about your experience so far about this podcast and answering this question how do you feel about it yeah so first of all i'm, I'm really glad to be part of it uh you know sharing my experiences and uh, it's not only the yeah i i i gave a lot of trainings uh, that's more like you know uh, knowledge i'm sharing the H, the only the hr knowledge but it's really i'm um, you know it's really important uh, uh, to discuss about some of the key factors like uh, uh, i'm i'm uh, acknowledging some of the things like uh, this these are the features we have these are the implementation challenges that people may face and uh, these are the maybe uh, future uh, new features with work day so i'm really glad that i spoke with uh, you know more like a conversation so it's not yeah. some interview interview kind of but yeah i i really en enjoyed this the whole conversation and the questions that you asked thank you so much for inviting me for this any message to the listeners out there cuz they're not listening sure. here what also so any kind of motivation any tips or sure. tricks have for the listeners out there sure so see uh i just i just have like 4 years of experience not like uh, 10 years 15 years and also right. i came from different background i came from civil background i started with a hr is it's not only hr people won't come to you and complain you're not hr so, right. but you're going to support the system support the application so you'll see so many things that there are like uh, you'll see uh, different uh, systems different uh, data you'll handle with people yeah you'll handle with hr you'll handle with the uh, recruiter so because that's what work the people do if you are planning to uh, you know if you if you if you wants to jump your ca career from different career to the work day if you really wants to learn you don't need any experience you'll start from the scratch uh, and yeah you you'll start from the scratch try to learn the technology but the most important thing is practice 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 yeah let's see uh, it's not only work day but uh, you can you can pick anything if you if you do the same thing twice thrice maybe 10 times then it will be habituated for you then you'll understand okay uh, so and so i can get this uh, uh, item or configuration or anything so mm -hmm. i always suggest like uh, see if you watch the uh, work day videos or if you take the training you you may feel oh it's really simple it's more like a data a data entry job no it's not once you step into that once you keep your hands yeah. you never know what you're going to do <laughs> oh god oh god that's that's so so amazing yeah so thank you so much bhuvna for your time and i it was lovely lovely talking thank to you thank you so really. much for inviting me yeah i really enjoyed your knowledge was top notch it doesn't so uh, if you have 4 years or 10 years doesn't matter here this is a chill Just space learn. for yes for us to talk about and zarantech has is uh, doing this podcast because of like you know for the listeners young listeners out there yes yes just, they can yeah. they can relate my journey right exactly so thank you so much and i hope to meet you soon in person sure. yeah i'm glad for that yeah take, take care 
So uh, I'll be uh, signing off. So bye, uh, everybody. That's bye, it. everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.